Guten Morgen, Klasse. Guten Morgen. Guten Morgen. Heute ist der 1. Oktober 2020. Gut, Klasse. Heute ist Donnerstag. Donnerstag ist hier. Klasse. Welcher Tag ist morgen? Morgen ist Freitag. Klasse. Welcher Tag ist übermorgen? Remember, über pops over tomorrow. Ist Samstag. Klasse. Welcher Tag war gestern? Stimmt. Gestern war Mittwoch. Klasse. Welcher Tag war vor gestern? Stimmt. Vor gestern war Dienstag. Klasse. Wie ist das Wetter in Wien? Also, Wien ist hier. Wien ist in Österreich. Österreich ist Austria. Okay? Not Australia. Common misconception. When you're first learning German, it is not Australia. Okay, gut, klasse. Und wie ist das Wetter heute in Wien? Also, es ist sonnig. Und was ist das? Es gibt Wind. Wind, klasse. Es ist windig. Windig. In Wien. Es gibt Sonne und Wind. Sonne und Wind. Sonne und Wind. 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 Klasse. Es ist windig. Oh, windig, Herr Dab. Wunderbar. Und wie ist die Temperatur in Wien? Die Temperatur in Wien ist 17 Grad. 17. Ist das warm, heiß oder kühl? Es ist kühl. Ziemlich kühl, ja? Okay, so. We're starting uh, to go into some clothing stuff. Wow, at this particular website, it's called KDV. It's an online shopping center. And what I'd like you to see is just the kinds of fashion. Now, keep in mind, this is probably more your high-end fashion. High-end fashion in Germany is ridiculously expensive sometimes. Depends on where you go. You can get clothing for very cheap, but you can also get fancy name brand clothes for much more money. The difference, I would say, uh, in my own experience, is that, in general, Americans are okay with, with changing their style, but we don't spend nearly as much money on clothing, on like really good quality clothing. Uh, you know, and that's just because of financial circumstances or social circumstances or whatever, but the clothing is important because uh, if, 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 for example, if I wear this shirt and it it's, you know, gets too small or too big or whatever, I will donate it and somebody will buy it perhaps at a thrift store. We, we do have that kind of secular type of uh, process in our society. Now, in Germany, that process exists as well. However, these particular articles of clothing uh, are generally, they take better care of them. Uh, clothing in Europe in general tends to cost more and you'll see that it costs quite a bit so it just depends on what you're used to. Me, person, I think these uh, prices are astronomical. Uh, however, uh, you know, in Germany and, and throughout Europe, clothing is seen differently and is taken better care of. Okay? So, uh, let's say, for example, uh, die Schuhe. Okay? And that is a sneaker. And sneaker is a German word. Sneaker. Uh, look, ooh, look at that. Wow. So here's the price. You see the little euro sign at the end there? That euro sign tells you that it's that's how much money it is. So in, in generally, uh, euro and dollar, I'm gonna say are a 
about the same. They do tend to go up and down as the years go by. But you see what the price originally was. 499 euro. That's expensive. Wow. That's like $500 for a pair of shoes. Yeah, I think even Yeezy doesn't ask that much. It must be made out of iPhones or something. So check it out. Notice one other thing as well. Notice this little comma. That comma, and I, I've kind of explained it to my own son, that in Germany they use the commas where, where we would use periods and periods where they would use commas. Okay? So it's just something kind of interesting, and we'll, we'll see an example of that here. Uh, these uh, yaka, okay, that's a yaka. What do you think that could be? Like a jacket. Yeah. Uh, not, not my style, not my style, but that's okay because somebody's paying this much money for it. It used to be 770 euros. And again, I think that they put those prices on there so they can, so they can say that it was high end and then they, they lowered it to make you feel better about buying it. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly, but crazy, $400 for a yaka. It better, it better be like some North Face stuff or something. I don't know. Again, Americans and Europeans have different perspectives on, on clothing. Okay, what else do we got? We have shorts. Wait, shorts? Hair dab? What about Kurt Zahosa? No, look guys, they use the word shorts. That's a real thing. Okay, and here, how much are those shorts? 220 euro. 200, 20 euro. Whoa, it's a lot. And here's a hemp. Okay, oh gosh, I just, I totally just covered that up so you can't see it. A hemp, guys, a hemp is a shirt. Okay, this particular shirt. I do not know what that was made out of, but apparently it was worth 1700 Sieb euro to somebody. Sieb That's too much. Okay, so these are, these, are the, these are ladies' clothes, just FYI. We're going to go over to some guy clothes just so we can help the guys out. Okay. Also, uh, here's a T-shirt. Yeah, down here you got a, a T-shirt. Yeah. Ich trage ein T-shirt. Not right now, today, but uh, yeah, that's how you would say it. I wear a T-shirt. Ich trage, ich trage ein T-shirt, right? Oh, you can also say ich trage eine Hose, eine Hose. Now, let's check out the prices here real quick. Almost, fast, this is almost, fast 300 Euro. 300. Das ist teuer. Now keep in mind though, like Americans, we, we like to buy cheap. We are cheap with a lot of things, but uh, that shirt probably will last somebody quite a long time. Okay, so they don't buy clothing very often like we do here in America, at least as far as I have been able to observe. Okay, so uh, here's Dana Jose, 200 euro, 200 euros, wow. This is a fried sight yaka, a free time jacket. So this is like a casual jacket thing. Oh, whoo, look at that. Uh, ein thousand, ein thousand, one thousand. Notice that period too, by the way, there's a period. It's not a comma, yeah, like right there. Uh, there's a period, not a comma. Ein thousand euro. I'm just gonna make ein thousand. That's too much. And here's another one. This is a hemp. A hemp is a shirt. 160 euros. 100 zexig. Euro. Su teuer. Teuer, by the way, means expensive. Okay, let's go over the colors. Let's see what you got. Welche Farbe, Klasse, is dieses Hemd? Welche Farbe? Do you remember the Farben? Schwarz und Weiß. Good. Welche Farbe is die Hose? Blau. Welche Farbe? Sind diese zwei Hemde, or the Hemde, Hemd und Jacke, sie sind weiß. All right, so I hope that was interesting. I always find it very interesting to find out how other countries uh, look at their clothing. Now keep in mind, yes, these prices are all like super high, but what ends up happening is they got passed down from store to store to store to store, and generally the prices do uh, end up on like a level playing field. Um, at the very least, you get some sort of knockoff brands to kind of help uh, you be able to buy these types of uh, looks without paying the premium price. 
So good luck today.